Hello everyone, I welcome you all to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss Static Latches and Registers from the subject VLSI Design. Under the heading Static Latches and Registers, there are four subheadings. The Bi-Stability Principle, SR Flip-Flops, Multiplexer Based Latches, Master Slave Edge Triggered Register. So, in this video, we are going to see the bi-stability principle SR flip-flops in detail. First, let us see what is the bi-stability principle. So, from the name itself, you can understand bi-stability. That means it has two stable states. That is 0 and 1. These are the two stable states. So, static memories means it uses positive feedback, create a bistable circuit. So, for example, consider here two inverters are connected in cascaded manner. So, Vi1 is the input to the first inverter and Vo1 is the output of the first inverter. So, this is given as input to the second inverter that is Vi2. So, V1 is equal to Vi2. And VO2 is the output of the second inverter. Again, this VO2 is fed back to the input of the first inverter, VI1. Therefore, we can say VO2 is equal to VI1. Now, let us see the voltage transfer characteristics of these inverters. So, first we are going to see the first inverter voltage transfer characteristics. So, this is the voltage transfer characteristics of our first inverter. Next, Second inverter voltage transfer characteristics is given like this. That is, you will be getting the graph like this. Now, if you combine these two graphs, we are getting two stable points. We are having three points, A, C and B. Here, A and B points are stable points and C point is the unstable point. So, here two stable states are there. One is A and another one is B. We have seen the voltage transfer characteristics. There are three operating points that is A, B and C. So here among the three operating points A and B are stable and C is metastable. Because at a C operating point the inverter characteristic curve the transient region has the gain larger than 1. So, in the transient region, if the gain is larger than 1, then definitely it will be in metastable state. So, here we are having only two stable states, that is A and B. So, the bistable circuit has two stable states, that is 1 and another one is 0. So, the common example for a bistable circuit is a flip-flop. So, flip-flop is a single bit storage element. It can store either 0 or 1. Next, let us see SR flip-flop. So, this is the cross-coupled inverter pair, nor based SR flip-flop. Here, remember S stands for set and R stands for reset. And here we are having two outputs, Q and its complement output, Q bar. So here, this flip-flop is used for storing a single bit. That is the flip-flop's characteristic. It is used for storing a single bit data. So if you want to change the state of the flip-flop means, then definitely we need to add an extra circuit to enable the state. That is from, to change from one state to another state. So, next we are going to see the logic symbol of SR flip-flop as well as its characteristics table. So, S and R is the input and Q and Q bar is the output. So, initially from the characteristics table, we can understand it clearly. Whenever set is equal to 1, you will be getting 1 as the output. Whenever the reset R is equal to 1, you will be getting 0 at the output. So, these are the two important points you have to remember. Then you can write the characteristics table of your own. So, 0, 0 means previous state outputs Q and Q bar as it is. 
if 1 0 means set is equal to 1 therefore you will be getting the output q is equal to 1 so automatically q bar is equal to 0 next 0 1 that means reset is equal to 1 so if reset is equal to 1 means then q is equal to 0 so automatically q bar is equal to 1 and 1 1 is the forbidden state The most of the system works in a synchronous fashion. So, synchronous fashion means it need a clock pulse. Then only it can operate in a synchronous fashion. So, if you are giving a clock signal means then it is called as clocked SR flip-flop. Normally, this clocked SR flip-flop is a level sensitive positive latch. Already in my previous video, we have seen what is level sensitive positive latch. So, yeah, it is a clocked SR flip-flop is otherwise called as level sensitive positive latch. So, it consists of a cross coupled inverter pair that is normally for a static circuits. You will be having a cross coupled inverter pair plus extra four transistors are used. So, these four transistors are used for giving the input as well as the clock signals. So, this is the circuit diagram for CMOS clocked SR flip-flop. So, here we are giving the clock signal as well as input through the extra four transistors. So, M2, M1, M4 and M3. These are cross-coupled inverters. So, extra transistors are used for giving the S input, R input as well as clock inputs. So, here the combination of transistors M4, M7 as well as M8 forms the ratioed inverter. So, in order to make the latch switch, we must bring the Q value below the switching threshold of the inverter M1 and M2. Then only we can switch the state. Also, the presented flip-flop that is SR clocked flip-flop is does not consume any static power. This is the main advantage of this SR flip-flop. I hope you all have understood about the basics of static latches and registers. That is the first two topics. Bi-stability principle as well as SR flip-flops. The remaining two topics we can see in the next video. If you like this video, kindly subscribe my channel and share with your friends. Thank you.